Hi guys, it's Kiarko here, back with another speed build. This is a speed build of what I'm calling an old Hollywood movie studio. And you might be able to <laughs> tell from the sound of my voice, I am a little bit sick right now. Um, I'm a little bit congested, I have a little bit of a cold, no need to worry, but um, I might sound gross <laughs> at times during this video. So please just bear with me, please forgive me, I'm just... <laughs> not feeling well um but yeah i'm putting together this movie studio um and i should say right off the bat that this is not going to be <laughs> any sort of accurate um i was kind of inspired by several time periods i was inspired by the 20s the 30s and the 40s so that kind of period of filmmaking um in hollywood and obviously you know the filmmaking in the 20s is very different than filmmaking in the 40s so like i said it's not going to be super <laughs> accurate to a specific time period or you know anything like that um but i still had a lot of fun doing this you know just kind of creating like an old hollywood vibe as you can see uh, i mean very obviously this is in black and white um which was so amazing like I, this isn't a filter that I put on in editing this is um, my reshape preset actually set to being in black and white so while I was actually building this it was also in black and white for me myself um, which was amazing it was an amazing experience uh, if any if you guys watch any of my previous videos you know uh, I'm such a stickler about color so this was such like a breath of fresh air for me to like not have to worry about color palette um, and I found myself using a lot of uh, objects and items that I just hadn't used in the past because of their uh, uh, color palette and because of this black and white situation I could actually use those things and it was actually really nice but yeah <laughs> anyways I am just setting up the exterior right right now. Um, so there's the front section which is going to be like the main entrance. Um, you're going to see like the entrance to the, the different stages because that's what they're called like sound stages right. So there's going to be two sound stages uh, stage A and stage or no it's not A and B I think it's B and C it is but you'll see that later. And then back here is kind of like a loading dock area um, where like trucks or whatever could like pull up and drop off equipment or stuff you know i don't know <laughs> but i this is i know this is such a random build i just had a little, i don't know i wanted to do something that was in black and white um just you know to experiment <laughs> with that um and i i just couldn't think of what i would do and then i i was thinking about like a bunch of old hollywood movies like like you know the silent film era and even like the golden age of you know classic movies and stuff. I mean, I'll be totally honest with you guys, I have not seen a lot of old movies. I'm more of a uh, modern era type of girl when it comes to movies, um, but I've like seen pictures of a lot of them, so like I kind of have an idea of what the, the vibe is, um, but I really do like that vibe, like the old, the old Hollywood vibe. <laughs> But let me know if any of you um, are fans of these old movies and have any recommendations for me because, you know, I mean, like, to be completely honest, I really have not seen a lot of them. Um, I just kind of fall into the category of person who just never really was, it, like, exposed to very old films. Um, just never really got into them. But if you guys have any recommendations, um, please let me know because I would love to check out some old movies and maybe get into them. <laughs> but yeah, um, as you can see, I set up the roof there. It is accessible by ladders, you can see me set up up there. I put on these cranes, which are kind of a weird touch, but I figured that, because you can see they're more towards the back of the building than the front, so I figured that they're back by the loading docks to help, like, crane in really big, uh, you know, set pieces or, you know, camera equipment, stuff like that. So that's why the cranes are there. And then you can see I have that, those, like, all these different big-ass doors, so... Um, very large pieces of equipment can fit inside. Um, these are the highest height walls, I believe, um, because, you know, whenever you see uh, any movie studio, old or new, they're always very, very tall. Um, and that is because I'm just assuming for camera equipment and just for flexibility to have that tall ass ceiling and for lights, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just putting in little details here. Gonna put in some bushes in the front. As you can see, I have that entrance um, that's like Welcome to Studio B and C, Stage BC, I don't know. Um, and also on that other side, you can see that I put the large letters B and C on the outside so the people, uh, crew members passing by could see that Stage B and that Stage C. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> and then here I'm putting on some ivy on the side of the walls just because I didn't want like a big blank wall. <laughs> um, because, you know, I can't put windows on, right? Because they need to be able to control the lighting on the inside, so having windows would be... Uh, not in their favor of movie making. Um, but yeah, 
Anyways, I am, what am I doing right now? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just, oh, putting down random items outside. I'm gonna put in this trailer slash, it's like an RV, and it's probably not realistic to what one would look like in this time period, but I honestly didn't have another one that would fit. Um, so I figured that this is some sort of trailer for, um, you know, the star of the movie, because I think that they had trailers back then. I think that was a thing. I don't know. But that was kind of the thought process with that uh, choice to have that trailer there, is that it's the celebrity's trailer. Um, and now I'm doing my walls on the inside. So like I said, there is stage B and stage C. So there's two stages. Um, and I figured that maybe they're shooting like a Western right now or something. I mean, honestly, I only made that choice because I didn't have like um, a lot of other set pieces uh, for, you know, movie sets that actually worked. Um, so in the Get Famous pack, it came with a bunch of movie sets and I really like the ones that looked like Western style. So we're gonna assume that they're shooting some sort of a Western film right now. Uh, but here I'm just putting in my floors, my walls. As you can see, everything's pretty much concrete except for the wood over here. Um, those two rooms that I'm setting up right now, these are like the uh, hair and makeup rooms slash just like the little room where the famous celebrity will, or you know, the movie actor will just be and hang out if they're not in the trailer. Um, so as you can see, I put some, well, when we go back there, I put in makeup chairs and like a little place for them to get dressed and stuff like that, but we'll go back and decorate those more later. I did put these like steel beam things on the walls because I, I didn't like the look of just like the blank gray walls. I wanted my walls to be a little bit more interesting uh, so I put those things on them and I actually think it works pretty well um, and then let's see <laughs> I'm just kind of going randomly through the debug menu for the get famous pack and I'm just putting down things that uh, look cool and <laughs> that I like um, I am putting in let's see this is one of the set pieces we use so it's like an old-fashioned like saloon I think yeah it is I think it, it's got like the the old-timey piano and the old-timey uh, stove and the bar and yeah <laughs> and then I put in some tables okay Look, I know that camera that I put down there is not time period accurate at all. Obviously, they'd still be shooting in film at this point. Um, I did look for uh, old timey camera custom content. I just couldn't find any. Like, I found some like old timey like photography cameras, like the smaller ones that kind of look like accordions. You guys know what I'm talking about? Um, but I could not find the uh, the really old like movie style cameras where they had like um, the big circle things on top for. Uh, you know, film to roll through. You guys know what I'm talking about? I just couldn't find it. But if you guys actually know any custom content that looks like that, please let me know. Um, because I would love that to have an old timey camera. This is not period accurate. That looks like a camera from like the 80s, even modern day a little bit. Um, so <laughs> just ignore that camera for now. Um, that little file thing I put on the, one of the director's chairs or like, you know, the director style chair. Um, those are just like scripts and notes, um, which I figure is just like a nice little detail. Um, then I'm going into the uh, hair and makeup rooms again just to add in some more detail just kind of sort it out You can see I put some like clothing piles on the floor because you know, obviously they're changing out of their real clothes and stuff So <laughs> I guess they just threw them on the floor um, Put some shoes down and then what are we doing here? Uh, I don't know putting in a little shelf um, and then we're going to put in some of these little trophies um, which I figured maybe like or like trophies that like the or like awards that maybe this particular studio won so they just have them on display in this little room um and then i'm gonna put in some mirrors so that you know when they're getting dressed in their costumes they can see um another little <laughs> a little wardrobe thing over here uh gonna hang some clothes on the wall just putting together this uh this room i think it's really cute i i honestly i probably might do more black and white builds in the future because it's just kind of like a very meditative process for me. I don't know how to explain it. It's much more peaceful <laughs> than uh, building in color because I think, you know, I just don't have to worry about my color palette and it's so freeing and relaxing and very, very nice. I, I After I finished uh, recording this, I turned off the uh, monochrome filter to see what it actually looked like in color and it was atrocious and very much uh, hurt my eyes. So I will never return to this build if I have to look at it in color. I will always look at this build in black and white if I can. Um, but in the other soundstage, now we are putting in our other set piece, um, which is like an old uh, Western style prison, I think, or like a jail cell or something like that. Um, I am going to set up, let's see, I put that little sheriff's hat there, which I thought was really, really cute. Um, I do set up like a little table and that's going to be like a little table where they're going to like uh, play like a game of cards or something um, in the scene. Um, so you can see me choosing a table. I, I went with this like crate. Um, which I think works. 
Maybe. I don't know. I think it's cool. And then I like I leaned a book against it just for a little detail and then I put like a card game on top. Um, so that scene is, I guess, some inmates playing uh, a card game in prison in, in, a, in the Western era. Um, this is our crafty table, so it's the, the place where there's food, drinks, um, snacks, places for people to grab food. Um, I know crafty tables are a thing on movie sets now. I don't quite know if crafty was a thing like in the 20s through 40s period. I'm gonna assume it was because, I mean, people still ate back then. <laughs> So I'm gonna assume. I mean, this is a very uh, weird crafty table. Like there's there's like pies and like obviously bottles of wine and just random fruit. So this is a really, really wacky crafty table, but like I didn't have a lot of like food products that actually worked. So this is what we ended up with. I still think it looks pretty cool, especially in black and white. I really, really like this black and white. It's very, very relaxing for me um and then i'm gonna just put in more little details little boxes stuff like that i actually really like how this build turned out i was this is a completely new thing for me i haven't tried to build like this before especially in black and white but it turned out way better than i thought it would and i'm i'm actually pretty happy with it um and then in this little area which is kind of like part of the loading dock i'm just gonna put some extra set pieces like an extra crane um an extra uh backdrop some extra props and stuff it's just like a storage area is what i figured um, and a little cannon, I guess. <laughs> um, and then in this entryway, um, honestly, since it's just an entryway, I kept it pretty simple. I put in some benches, and then I do put in later on, like, a, kind of like a chalkboard type thing, um, which you'll see me put in a moment, I believe. Maybe? Yeah, these little chalkboards, which I figure are just places for, maybe that's where they post and write up, like, the schedule for the day, or, like, put up shot list or something. I don't know. I just figured that's a place for them to like organize the studio. But yeah, here are the screenshots. Please let me know what you think of this. If you guys are like digging the black and white thing and would like to see more black and white, like old timey, like period pieces I could do in black and white. Or if you are not a fan of the black and white at all, which I totally understand. It's not for everybody. Um, but this was a very nice and meditative experience for me to not have to think about color palette. Um, thank you for bearing through this video and listening to my clogged up stuffy voice. I am sick. <laughs> I'm not too sick. I'm just, I just got a little bit of a cold. Um, hopefully it'll be on by tomorrow so you don't have to hear my stuffy voice again tomorrow, but <laughs> I can't guarantee that. Um, anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think of this video, um, and I will see you next time.